Hey everyone, welcome to this walkthrough of Trihackme's Advent of Cyber. Um, if you're not familiar with Trihackme, Trihackme is basically this really cool CTF-ish website for learning all kinds of different hacking and security stuff. They basically have like these learning paths that take you through like different paths like penetration testing but also defensive and offensive pen testing. And if we go into one of these learning paths, you can kind of see that has all these little like authentication bypass idors. If we go into Burp Suite, it has some Burp Suite tutorials. And what I really like about Try Hack Me is one, it's really affordable, and two, it kind of goes through things with like questions. And it's like which view option displays the response in the same format your browser would. So that way you can um, kind of it, it's a bit more natural. Like it feels a bit more natural um, and especially if you're used to learning in like school or university you'll probably vibe quite well with the way try hack me teaches as well so it's it's also great because it's very affordable um it has a student discount as well and that's super great and what they do over kind of christmas is they do this advent of cyber now i'm not sure if advent calendars are a big thing in other countries but like in the uk all kids have advent calendars where you basically have this like box that has little windows and each window is like a chocolate and you open it each day. So same kind of idea, apart from the chocolate here, is cybersecurity. Uh, basically every day in the lead up to Christmas, so December 1st to December 25th, um, they're going to give these kind of like tasks that are like day one, do this, day two, do this, day three, do this, etc. Um, and not only that, they also have prizes. So for each task you get cor correct, you actually get a bunch of uh, uh, raffle entries to some of these cool prizes. So that's that's really neat as well. Um, and you can see it's sponsored and stuff like that. And you can see videos featuring me. <laughs> and this is what this video is about. So I'm going to show you how to solve day three. So that's today. So this is going out on the uh, 3rd of December. So if you're watching this right now, you can go and do day one and two. You're not too late, but let's do day three together. So Grinch Enterprises have also tried to block communication between anyone at the company. They've locked everyone out of their email systems. And Mixis Admin has also lost access to their admin panel. Can you find the admin panel and help restore communication for the best festival company? So cool. And you can see here there's a deployable machine. So I'm going to press start machine. So what this is, is this is like the um, website we're going to hack and it's going to show us up here. So the other cool thing about Try Hack Me is they have something called attack box. And what that does is have this like version of Linux in your web browser. Um, so basically you don't need to install Linux. You don't need to install like virtual machines. But you can still do these like Linux based um, challenges. So you can see up this, this is the attack box IP address and this is the IP address that's going to be shown here. It takes a few minutes for it to load because like I said, it's like a full Linux. Um, it has a ton of tools in there and it's really great for solving these pu puzzles because um, everything's already included. So if we scroll down here, you can see what we're going to be doing. So it says here we're going to be doing content discovery. So that means we're going to be finding more stuff on a web page than what we currently uh, can see. So that means new endpoints, new um, potentially assets. We're kind of better understanding the breadth of what we've got to search. So we can see down here, it gives us some good ideas. So configuration files, passwords and secrets, backups, um, content management systems, admin dashboards. And one of the great things that, um, that this offers is like, open source software. So one thing that's included is something called Durbuster. And Durbuster is basically a brute forcing tool. So if you see my previous video on FFUF, you're probably already familiar with this kind of idea. The idea is we send it a list of words in doc text format, and it will basically try every single word. And you might be thinking, but why is that useful? Well, if we have like slash administrator slash admin, um, then we have like slash control panel. If we can start to guess what might be there, we can start to kind of better understand our targets like full attack surface. So it gives us some examples and there's some that are automatically installed here on the um, attack box. So we'll go look at that in a minute. 
gives us some advice for default credentials, so try the username administrator, then password administrator or password123 or let me in. Look for readmes, um, and you can see down here, these are the questions we've got to answer. So we've got to first enumerate this IP address to find the location of the admin dashboard. We've got to try some default credentials, and then we've got to find the flag. So let's have a go at that. So let's first see what's actually being hosted there. So I'm going to start Firefox. Cool. You can see here it's giving you this information, so it's telling us where the word lists are. So we're going to try and go to, oh, whoops. We go to 10.10.143. .10 eight seven and press enter you can see we've got Grinch Enterprises an email solution built for you and some login but that's not really what we're interested in so let's go have a look to look at the word lists so I'm going to keep this open so I have a reference to what the folder is so the first thing you want to do is go and have a look at the word list we've got so let's do a CD for change directory and let's go into user share word lists and then ls for list files and you can see we've got some files in there now you might be familiar with sec list because i've mentioned them in another video so if i was to cd into sec lists um tab by the way on linux is like autocomplete and i can do an ls to see what's in there and you can kind of see we've got fuzzing discovery so we could go into discovery and go look through that we've got usernames we've got payloads this is like a um like a github that anyone can download so i'm going to come out of that because i don't know if i really want sec lists and let's instead go a cd to db so that's our der buster and let's just see what's in here so we have a big indexes common small mutation spanish um but let's have a quick check what's in uh small now, just having a quick look here. Um, so we've got like admin pages, access, access granted, admin, admin logon, administration. So this looks pretty good. So Q to leave. So let's use this. Um, let's let's use this. So we're going to use. It tells us up here if we scroll up. We need to be doing it in this format here. So we want to do D that and then we want to put in the IP address so we know it is this so we're just going to copy that oops wrong terminal I lost the terminal there we go paste that in and then we want to use this small top text so I'm just going to type in small and it will also complete dot text and let's press enter so you can see what it's doing here is that it's searching scanning through all these URLs and then finding like stuff and you can see it's also trying a bunch of different things as well. So immediately we can see we've got admin, we've got PHP my admin, which is a kind of uh, server control panel. We have some assets. We can kind of ignore the assets. The assets are going to be like our CSS, our images, our JavaScript. They're mostly just static files. They're not necessarily stuff we're interested in. And we can scroll down and see that there's a bunch of stuff here for PHP my admin as well. So let's start and have a look at the most juicy one, which is admin. So if I open this link, you can see we've got the admin control panel. So if we scroll down here, it's going to say using a common word list, find the admin location of the administrator dashboard, what's the name of the folder, well, we know it's admin. We can submit it. And by the way, if you're having a hard time, there's like a little hint button there. So it's telling us our user is administrator. So let's type that in, administrator. And then it's telling us to use some default um, credentials. So it gives us some examples here. We can try password one, two, three, and press login. And it doesn't work. We can try let me in and press login. We can see that didn't work. So let's try administrator and press login. And we have successfully logged in. So the password for administrator is administrator and press submit and press OK. And you can see here, this is the flag. Um, so we just have to type in try hack me and then admin 
process and kind of half leet and press submit and you see we got the correct answer and that is day three done like i said a lot of these are really for beginners and really people getting into it so if you're looking over the christmas period to kind of skill up a little bit learn something new but also not make it too challenging for yourself i highly recommend giving this a go like this is only day three there is so many other tasks coming uh, and it is really really like it, it's really fun to do this if you're a little bit more advanced this is probably not the right one for you but one thing that i'm doing this week or this month with with this is I'm actually picking up some skills I didn't know a lot about. So I know quite a lot about web exploitation, but when it comes to like Nmap, I'm a lot more newer at that. Or like OSN or like cloud or especially things like blue team. So it's really good if you do have quite a lot of expertise in one area to kind of skill up in different areas and really get the kind of well-rounded. Really useful for bug bounty hunting as well, because the more you know about like how these wider systems work and how bugs get fixed, it can actually make your reports much better. So thank you very much for watching and thank you to TryHackMe for supporting this video, not financially, they're not paying me to make this video, um, but for allowing me to come and do a little walkthrough for you all. So thank you very much everyone and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone.